them home. People come home and they don't know if their spouse fed their pet or they don't know if their child fed them in the morning. People end up feeding the bowl rather than feeding the pet. And so we created just a simple solution, which is ready's been fed, green go ahead. They will definitely work you to try to get that extra meal. If it turns green, then it'll let you know that you should feed him. As you pour the food into the bowl, we call it say when technology. It turns green when it's the right amount, so they give you positive feedback. This is OB Pro Bowl. It combines a smart base, which connects via Wi-Fi to your phone and to the cloud. It has a scale inside of it, so it weighs and measures everything that your pet eats and drinks when you're at work. No more texting back and forth, honey, did you feed the dog? Or asking your pet sitter if they have enough food, whether they were fed, and if they have enough water, you know. And if they don't, you'll know and you can take action. So you can call them or you can you know, call your forgetful teenager and remind them to fill up the bowl with water. Now you can see um, by just looking at the app and you see the real-time status of the bowl. It's nice to have so you can get alerts so you know what they're up to. You set up the app and we make a feeding recommendation based on their personalized characteristics. And that gets stored in the bowl. Our vision is really twofold. One is solve the pet obesity problem and then help them live longer. There are 165 million dogs and cats in the US and 100 million of them, more than 60%, are overweight. And what that means is that they probably won't live as long, they have a lower quality of life, and we as pet parents end up paying for expensive health problems like diabetes, arthritis, and heart problems, and it can be prevented. We found was people don't intentionally overfeed their pet. There are a few things that commonly happen. One is it's not that easy to understand how much to feed your pet for on a personalized, regular basis. Directions themselves aren't that clear. They're relatively vague. We make a personalized feeding recommendation that gets stored in the base based on the pet's characteristics and their activity level. If first question that your veterinarian will ask you when you bring your dog in and if they're having problems is, are they eating and drinking normally? People don't necessarily know, but we now have objective data. So you can share that data with your vet and we establish a baseline based on two weeks of behavior.